and the Rugu constituency here, ABA Fuseni, uh, good morning to you and you consistently over the last couple of days have been talking about this Ghana-US military cooperation agreement and that it's not for the people and now you're part of this protest march as convened. Uh, is it not all political just intended to make sure government looks bad? Uh, my brother, uh, let me say a good morning to all your listeners across the world. Uh, if you bring an infested firewood to your house, you don't complain if you are visited by lizards. This visionless government, this government of crass incompetence, this government of insensitivity and betrayal, today is it not shameful that a government of a party that styles itself as a new patriotic party and emphasize the word patriotic? Is the very government that is selling this country cheap to foreigners. Is it not ironic that a government that claims that it is motivated by the supreme interest and aspirations of the good people of this country is a government that has gone and negotiated the most shambolic, the most incompetent, the most laughable, an object of derision in the international community. Call a, an agreement where you surrender the sovereignty, territorial integrity, and independence of this country. Won for us by our forebears who struggled and put their lives on the line. My brother, doesn't it strike you that these are the same people who sent a delegation to the Queen in England when Ghana should have had independence in 1954? No, not decades ago. Prior to independence. They are, they are it's, immaterial, it's immaterial to the present circumstances we find ourselves. I'm saying that they are their forebears. You will not see a guinea fowl flying and its offspring will be working. Very good. These are their forebears. These are their forebears. So we are saying that they, what their ancestors did about independence, today they don't appreciate the independence we want. That is why they can sell it so cheaply. Because if they appreciate the independence that this, the country, this country won, the lives that were sacrificed for the independence of this country, for our sovereignty, for our territorial integrity, they will not go and sell it and sell it in a, a manner so cheaply, so humiliating, so disgusting. You are part of that parliament, the parliament that passed the 2018 Ghana-U.S. military agreement. That this is an agreement of surrender, of betrayal, of humiliation, and that we are not part of it. Sure. The minority was never, all the way, right from the onset, we in the minority pointed out that, that the sovereignty of Ghana has no price tag. You can never sell uh, 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 the sovereignty and territorial integrity and independence of Ghana. So we made it abundantly clear. And it was also you uncovered on, on a false premise, on illegality. Look, Article 75 of the Constitution of the Republic indicates that for an agreement to come for ratification before Parliament, it should have been executed. That agreement was not even signed. I'm sure you saw a piece of it. The agreement was not signed. It was not executed by the executive. And so what was before Parliament? There was nothing before Parliament. Because you cannot so call, call it an agreement. And we are saying clearly in, in clear language that this is not an agreement that was negotiated. It is an imposed agreement. The United States simply dictated the terms and gave it to uh, 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 the president. And the president, in his uh, 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 lack of interest for this nation, simply got cabinet to robber stamp it. And that is what it is. So, Nana Akufuado is the one who is selling Ghana cheaply today, to the point that even in our, so in our, in our country, my brother, even, even now, passports are no longer even valid for people to enter the country. Uh, a U.S. contractor can simply enter Ghana with an ID card. My brother, even under the Vienna Convention, which grants uh, diplomatic immunities to uh, 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 serving staff, they enter with passports. What's wrong with even the diplomatic? What's wrong with it? An agreement, an agreement that is mutual between two countries, two sovereign nations, who, are, who have had, who have had, who have had great relationships since independence. What's wrong with it? I like the word you use. You use mutual. Can Ghanaians enter the U.S. with ID card? Tell me, if it is mutual. Americans are entering Ghana with ID cards. Can Ghanaians enter the U.S. with ID cards? Even you have to go and stand there and queue for visa, you will even get it. You see how they have treated us? Which sections of that agreement, which sections of this agreement that make it inimical, a hinder to a sovereign state as a country? Oh, every aspect of the agreement is inimical to our interest. How can you get, number one, like I said, immunities, to uh, American contractors, and when Americans talk of military contractors, 
They are talking of a killing machine. They are not talking of those who come to build. The lives of black water. They, they just contact these people to go and level places and kill people, irrespective of who, who, whoever they are. These are the people who are going to enter our country with ID cards. They are not even going to enter our country through the normal diplomatic channels. They are going to enter with ID cards. If they come and commit all sorts of heinous crimes in this country, our courts are stopped from trying them. They cannot be arrested for committing any crime in Ghana. They can commit all the atrocious crimes in Ghana. Not even our courts have jurisdiction to hear any case. Our security, in fact, when the, the military bases were granted them, they can bring in all manner of weapons, biological, chemical, uh, nuclear weapons, missiles, anything that biological weapons or other materials stated in the agreement. Yeah, my, my brother, the agreement says they can bring in anything. Go and read the agreement. So anything means biological weapons can be brought, chemical weapons can be brought, uh, atomic weapons can be brought, nerve agents can be brought. They can bring in anything. Under the, how can a sovereign, a country says it's sovereign? Somebody is bringing something in your country and you don't even know. You are even a stop from finding out what the person is bringing. Is that, is that, is that an, an, an independent country? So what do you want done now after this protest march? You want to drum home consistently the opinion that the, the Ghanaian people are not in favor of this? At the, at the end of the day, the most important element in the nation is the Ghanaian people. When the Ghanaian people say that they, they solely reject this betrayal, this humiliation Nana Kufado has gone to bring on Ghana. I was just listening to Nigeria and, and Nigeria's comment was that uh, 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 Ghana, is that Osage Food Dr. Kwame Krumah's Ghana, where today you can sell your sovereignty for $20 million. Oh, it's so shameful, my brother, to the extreme, that posterity will curse this government of President Nanda Kufodo and his forebears for having subjected us to such uh, uh, object of derision and ridicule. And Ghana now reduced to a laughing stock in the annals of the international community. Well, one last proverb before we go. I've always said that the MPP has died in the market. You don't need to announce their funeral. <laughs> well, so um, let, let's go on and speak to some other personalities. And we know that they've all gathered here.